At the end of this beautiful sunny day, she returned to New York, hospitalized. She'd had a miscarriage. Marilyn would never be mother, not even in the movies. Would she die from a lack of love, a lack of children? Arthur Miller and Marilyn Monroe would do one last thing together, a film, The Misfits. Miller wrote the scenario, and she played the main role. That of her own life, her misfit biography. John Huston directed the film, and Greenson promised the producers that he would watch over her. The shoot started in Nevada during the summer of 1960 with Clark Gable and Montgomery Clift. Marilyn showed up two days late, pale and haggard, to shoot in the desert outside Reno in the 100-degree heat. When she arrived, it was like an apparition. She wore a tight-fitting white silk dress with uncountable red cherries and nothing underneath. A terrifying goddess who possessed the power of life and death. With a smile, she could break your heart. She confided to Dr. Greenson that the role of Rosalind, this woman torn between three men and freeing horses, was the double of herself. That she was experiencing the same feelings of abandonment, the same difficulty in living. That her husband had written this role to express both his love for her and his disgust. Houston claimed that he shot this film in black and white rather than in Technicolor to hide Marilyn's red eyes, bloodshot from drugs and alcohol. It's pointless shooting up, he told her. Neurotic suicidal broads get on my nerves. I won't like you any better dead. Why did Houston cast Marilyn? Because you're a whore, he told her, not an actress. And like any real whore, you pay with your person, your body, your soul. But you know this woman isn't you. He added, forget your goddamned actress studio. Psychoanalysis and acting don't go together. Keep your anguish. It's a precious quality. Without anguish, you can forget about acting. She told Greenson about the scene that broke her. When Rosalind, her character, prevents the three men from killing a horse. She turned to Gable and screamed at him, I hate you.
She was no more than a body in distress under the bright lights. She could no longer tell herself it was only a movie, only images. Those taken of her in the past, which did her good then, were now wounding her, tearing her skin off strip by strip. The director of photography told the producer, I can't film her. Her eyes are blank. If this continues, the film is over. The same question was on everyone's mind. Will Marilyn work today? Exhausted from the shoot, she realized that her marriage with Miller had reached its end. Certain actresses are like stars in the sky. Their light reaches us even when they've stopped shining. What if her numerous overdoses showed that she's the one who wanted to die? What if Norma Jean killed her? On October 18th, the shoot finished. Marilyn cried. I played Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn, always Marilyn. I found myself playing an imitation of myself. When I married Miller, I dreamed of getting away from Marilyn Monroe and instead, I found myself doing the same old thing. Now, don't get discouraged, girl. I want out. When she learned of Gable's death, she spoke to no one about it and did not attend his funeral. Clark Gable, in a Freudian sense, is supposed to be... She confided to Greenson, in the kissing scenes, I kissed him with real affection. I liked his lips, his mustache, which caressed me gently in front of the camera. I didn't want to go to bed with him, but I wanted him to know how much I liked him. I would have liked him to be my father and tell me that I was his little girl whom he loved. When Gable's son was baptized, she flew in from New York. She crossed the country to kiss the child she would have wanted to have. She showed up dressed in black, like a widow. And I was too blind to see. Marilyn now lived between two cities. The divorce with Miller was pronounced in January, and her last film with Montan was a flop. In New York, far from Greenson, she spent her days in the dark, thin, high on sedatives, listening to sentimental songs without talking or eating. Beside me, you woke something inside me. Marilyn was admitted to a mental hospital. You could be She was so drugged, she didn't remember that it was she herself who had signed her admission form. They put her on the sixth floor with the crazies. Bars everywhere, blood and graffiti on the walls of her cell. 
She was allowed only one phone call. She called Joe DiMaggio. She hadn't talked to him in six years. He came to her bedside at once. <laughs> 